Welcome to today's edition of Crypto Corner at InvestorIdeas.com. News on what's driving the cryptocurrency market. Hey everyone, this is Sam Mowers here. Welcome to episode 805 of the Crypto Corner podcast. For news today, Stronghold Digital Mining has reported its 2021 financial results. Metaverse Group has signed an agreement with Canada Sale GP team, and ePaz has announced that its mobile app will launch in Q3. Just before we get into the show, though, a quick reminder that if you enjoy this podcast, to please feel free to share it or leave us a review. And as always, I recommend checking out some of the other podcasts on InvestorIdeas.com. This includes the Cannabis Podcast, the Clean Tech and Climate Change Podcast, along with many others, all of which will bring you up to speed on the latest stock news and trends in their respective spaces. All right, so Stronghold Digital Mining Inc., which trades on the NASDAQ under the ticker symbol SDIG, has reported the financial results for its fourth quarter and full year ended December 31st, 2021, as well as an operational update. Some highlights include a Q4 revenue of $17 million, This is an increase of 1,721% over Q4 2020, and a full year revenue of $30.9 million, which is an increase of 651% over 2020. Greg Beard, the co-chairman and CEO of the company, said, quote, We built Stronghold and consummated our IPO with the goal of becoming a leading Bitcoin miner with core principles of being vertically integrated, delivering low costs, and having positive impacts on the environment and the communities in which we operate. These principles remain intact. Over the past few months, we have faced significant headwinds in our operations, which have materially impacted recent financial performance and have led us to reassess our near-term growth plans. We no longer believe targeting 8x a hash per second by the end of 2022 is achievable given the current circumstances, and we will focus on installing and optimizing the performance of the miners that we already have ordered while maximizing our financial flexibility. End quote. Metaverse Group, a subsidiary of Tokens.com Corp., which trades on the OTC as SMURF, has signed a lease agreement with Canada Sale GP team, which is the newest team in the Sale GP circuit, for its Metaverse headquarters. Andrew Kegel, Tokens.com CEO and the executive chairman of Metaverse Group, said, quote, Canada Sale GP team's Metaverse presence bridges the gap between the physical and virtual world. We are proud to have them as a tenant, and provide them with design development on our property. Metaverse Group is a one-stop shop for brands seeking to enter this new realm. We are excited to launch Canada Sale GP Team's presence in the Metaverse and showcase the team to a new audience. We look forward to cheering on the Canada Sale GP Team in their races. End quote. EPAS Inc., which trades on the OTC under the ticker EPAZ, has announced that its Cryobo NFT solar power converted into Bitcoin project will launch its mobile app in the third quarter. According to the press release, this app will provide token holders with the ability to exchange their tokens for fiat currencies and also track the income generated from mining operations or other income generated operations. End quote. That does it for today's Crypto Corner. If you would like to be a guest or sponsor for this podcast, contact InvestorIdeas.com. Investor Ideas reminds all listeners to read our disclaimers and disclosures on the InvestorIdeas.com website. And this podcast is not an endorsement to buy products, services, or securities. Investors are reminded all investment involves risk and possible loss in investment. To hear more InvestorIdeas.com podcasts, please visit InvestorIdeas.com slash audio. And a reminder, you can also hear our podcasts on Apple Podcasts, Audible, Spotify, TuneIn, Stitcher, Spreaker.com, iHeartRadio, Google Podcasts, and most audio platforms available.